Eight three-year-olds with $115,000 on the line. In the saddles are Turfdom's biggest names, Arcaro, Hartak, Shoemaker, Valenzuela, Sellers. The starting duel comes after the last turn in the mile and an eighth test. Crozier, Hartak up, leads. Bo Prince with Arcaro is second. And there on the outside is Carryback, the number five horse and the favorite. Under Sellers' masterful ride, he's now second. Driving like the Cinderella colt he is, Carryback, the Kentucky Derby favorite, is wrapping up the Florida Classic with a dramatic victory over Crozier by a head. Three-year-olds ready, in line, at the top of the stretch. And they're off in the 87th running of the Kentucky Derby. Along the inside, 4 and 20 goes for the lead. But now the red and white silks of Leonard Sasso's Globemaster show the way past the stands the first time. The jockeys allow their mounts to settle into stride as they come by the stands going to the clubhouse turn in this mile and a quarter test. Each horse carrying equal weight of 126 pounds. And that's Johnny Rotts looking back with a snug hold on Globemaster. 4 and 20 is second. Crozier is third. Then comes Dearborn, light talk, as they swing around that clubhouse turn. Globemaster has a three-length lead. On the outside, in second place, it's four and twenty, while along the rail, it's Crozier. That's Globemaster showing his heels to four and twenty and Crozier. And now Crozier's rider, sensing that he's in tight along the inside, begins to ease his mount back to swing to the outside for running room. Watch this man. To the half-mile pole they go. It's Globemaster on the lead by half a length. Four and twenty is second. Crozier is third. Then we move back some five to six lengths as they speed down the back stretch at Churchill Downs. In fourth place, it's Dearborn. Then comes Light Talk and Sherlock. At this point, Carryback is 11th, Base Cleft 15th, and Dr. Miller 14th, but they're beginning to move. Around the turn they go, and California hopes go spiraling upward as 4 and 20 gets the lead with Globemaster second. Swinging for home, it's Globemaster on the inside. 4 and 20 battling him for the lead, and here comes Crozier zipping by to go up into contention and take the lead as we switch to slow motion for the stretch drive. The big, long striding horse in the center of the track is Crozier. Look, he's drifting out just a bit. And that dark phantom barreling up on the outside of him, that's Carryback. Crozier is on the lead. Carryback relentlessly wearing him down as Johnny Sellers is whipping, driving, pushing and shoving, trying to get up to catch the pace setting Crozier. Relio Baeza goes to the whip left-handed, but to no avail. Here comes Carryback. Ground gaining strides vault him right to the front. And the winner of the 87th Kentucky Derby is Carryback. Crozier second, then came Bass Clef and Dr. Miller. Carryback rewards his owner, Mrs. Catherine Price, with $120,500 in the second richest derby in history. Bred and trained by colorful Jack Price and ridden superbly by jockey Johnny Sellers, Carryback, the little brown colt from the wrong side of the tracks, supplies a dramatic sports thrill by winning the 80 year olds get away in the dash for the second jewel in racing's table triple crown as in the kentucky derby globemaster takes an early lead and stays right up there with the derby winner carry back far back in the pack as they get on the back stretch it's globemaster but hitting away second when carry back starts to move there you see him on the far right picking up his pace and bearing down on the leaders Stopper by Carryback as he runs just as he did in the Derby. As they come down the stretch, he's far to the outside and watch him come. It doesn't seem possible that he can make it with Globemaster thundering far ahead. But Carryback passes second place closure and barrels along on the heels of Globemaster and then it edges into the lead to go over by three quarters of a length. He's won the Kentucky Derby. thousand are out for the Belmont Stakes to see Carryback try for another big one. Former First Lady and President Eisenhower are among Carryback's fans. As the Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner goes for the third jewel in racing Triple Crown. 
and horses get away. And as in the Derby and the Preakness, it's Globemaster who jumps into the lead and sets the pace. Following right on his heels is sheer luck with carryback, as usual, lost far behind. He's a heavy favorite with the crowd, and they're not worried, for he's a late starter who likes to come from behind. In the back stretch, carryback, number two on the rail, is not showing much speed, and he's passed easily by Andy Apoy. You'd have to bet $20 to win nine on carryback, and as he falls behind another slot, your money doesn't look too good. In the stretch, Sherlock, who's been dogging Globemaster, passes him handily. And the 65 to 1 shot under strong handling romps for the wire. A $2 investment returns $132.10. Brother, that's better than working. The news is all on the big board as the winner gets his trophy from Mrs. Eisenhower. This week's success story.